We're down 8 tenths of a percent at 21,877. The mid and the small caps could stay in tandem with the frontliners. A long list of losers led by BPCL, CIPLA, TCS, Wipro, l and and NTPC and literally a handful of stocks in the green. Good time then to find out what our chartists are looking at amidst this um, fall in the markets. Kunal and Nuresh joining right back in. Kunal, let's get in your uh, chart buster idea. Let's get in your chart buster call. So that's a chart for GE shipping. The last time the stock broke out about 900, went up to 1030, 1050 levels. Multiple bottoms made around 900 to 930 in the last uh, three months. In between also just two weeks back, the stock had come very close to a breakout point, but corrected with the markets, uh, seeing a fall in a small cap. But the stock has recovered sharply and is back above the 1000 levels. So clear relative strength in terms of recovery compared to what has happened in the small cap and the mid cap indices. So out here, a classical flag formation which could break out going forward about 1050 would have a target price of 1200 to 1400 in the short to medium term. Stop loss to be kept at 930. Right. Okay, Kunal, what's the chart buster that you've identified? It's from the mid cap arena and PI industry is a very interesting chart because uh, after that sharp sell off, which we'd seen for the stock in uh, December, the stock uh, took its time to try and consolidate. This is the 200 day moving average, the blue line, which you can see. Interestingly, the stock, uh, after a pause of consolidation, uh, after a f sharp fall, uh, you know, went into a, a time wise range. From here, the stock managed to break out of this 200 day moving average. This was in mid of February. Post that, the stock went into a, again a time wise consolidation. So, this pattern is called as a bullish flag formation. The stock yesterday gave a breakout of this bullish flag formation. Uh, again, in this consolidation, the stock has taken multiple retests and supports towards the 200 moving average, proving that this could be a very strong support territory for the, for the stock over the near term. And this is almost like a 400 point of flag pattern for the stock. So, expecting a very strong rebound for PI Industries. And from here on, I would expect the stock to come back towards its previous swing highs of 3800, 3850 mark over the very near term. Okay, let's get find out those stock specific calls as well. And Nuresh, what are you running us through on the charts? So first is the buy on JSW Steel, which looks like a recovery from the lows, a false breakdown done. Stop loss at 785, target price of 870. Second is the buy on Bharti Etel, a stock making new all time highs. Stop loss at 1190, target price of 1390. Okay, Kunal, let's get in those top recommendations going. Avenue Supermart is something which I've been recommending. Looks attractive uh, even at current levels of 3,980 approximately. So would suggest a buy with a target of 4,400. Stop loss remains at 3,850. And the second one is a buy on Radico. That's the stock on the early charts which have given a breakout. Targets of 1,660. Stop loss at 1,570. All right. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.